I went to an event the other day and uh, the fellas there, the organisers said, uh, would you give a little talk? And I uh, said, oh, look, those things, they make me feel pretty uncomfortable. And now uh, I get very nervous talking out like that. And they said, look, just do a couple of lines and see if that, you know, you start relaxing. And um, so I did a couple of lines and uh, they were right, I felt much more relaxed. We're now finishing off the bonnet. So it's nearly ready for a, um, a finishing coat, just a bit of a, a gentle sandbag. I'll be working on, on this little panel here. And um, yeah, it's not too exciting, but if I recall, the only other thing I've got to do now is, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Yeah, this is my never come in room. Uh, it's the, the back thing I haven't touched. That's brand new, that one. But I haven't, I've got to drill it and figure out how I'm going to mount it and stuff. See, that's, by the way, that's that cover there. See that square hole there? That goes in there. They normally had screws in it and have it screwed into here, these spots here, like that, bang, 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 all the way around. I'm not sure I want to do that. Some people have put hinges on them and stuff like that. I don't know. I might not change it too much from the original factory. And, um, I'll see how I go. As far as my eyes goes, it looks pretty good. 
How about yours? I take it so close, it was pretty, pretty dusty it is. I won't be here for long. Okay. It's not perfect and um, every now and again there was a bit of grit come blew out. In fact that was a pain I had to fix it. So, but on the grand scheme of things that's going to look okay. Alright fellas, thanks for watching that bit. I don't know where I'll go from there. I'll probably the other side of the bonnet in a couple of days when it hardens off a bit. Anyway, I've got to get out of here. So cheers. These are my guards. Yes, I just uncovered them. And um, I'm going to start on the black soon. Or oh, I've just got to paint the bonnet. So this is the bonnet from yesterday, which you probably know about it. You've, uh, or have seen it, I should say. And um, at the risk of overlapping information, but it's got a beautiful finish and I'm very happy with it. And, um, and we can just zoom in, it just doesn't get any less shiny. So I'm very happy with it. I, I love base coat and clear. I think that's the way to go. And certainly with Vermilion Fire, I can't speak for all paints because I'm not experienced, but just show you again because I can't stop looking at it. So I thought maybe you guys would like looking at it too. It's, um, it's one shiny, nice finish. And, um, Anyway, so the next bit is to do the other side. I'll just probably let this harden off for another day. I mean, it feels okay, but if you have its own weight sitting on it, resting on it, something could go wrong. So anyway, thanks for watching. Well, it's up to now. Um, don't go away. We haven't finished. So this is that um, panel, which for the use of better words, I'll call it a beaver panel. I don't know what else to call it. It's a trim panel under the bumper bar. Um, <clears throat> I just thought, I, I said I was going to send it back at, with 240, but I didn't. I ended up sending it back with, um, with 180, and then I did 240 over that. So I couldn't be bothered. It was going too slow. And, um, so that's ready. I'm going to just throw a bit of undercoat on that now, and um, see how it goes. You can watch if you like. Fully good, man. Fully good. Is that, is that actually recording? Huh? Hello? Are you there? Okay. Well, that's good pony. By the way, if you want one of these t-shirts, you can go to the website, Josh, I'll tell you about it, and uh, get one. Just a quick peek at what I've been up to. The um, inside of that panel, I did black. It wasn't painted at all from factory, so I just did it in a black seal that also can't rust anymore. And uh, of course I did the back panels, which are, oops, sorry, they're not red on this side. But let's have a look. On this side, I'll be painting them. So I've already done that one, did that one the other day. In fact, you will know if you remember that. That was my experimental one. And um, even that's adequate. It's probably the worst of all my spray jobs. But still. They're the thing. Like all the oil cans, these things, they had so many bumps and bruises in them in the past that they're very hard to, um, to get to look like that. I probably shouldn't have bothered, but I did. So anyway, 
So that's it, just painting the side panels and um, about to clean them. By the way, if you, if, just in case you don't see something being done one step, it's because I didn't film it, not because it hasn't happened. So I'm just about to give these a, a good clean down and, um, and put you on time lapse. Talked you with the mask on, but I've got that's the finish, and it's pretty damn good. I'd say at the moment we've got no rubbish in our paint rack, and I really mean cleanliness is next to godliness. Don't move fast, don't shake around, put your gear on before you walk in. So all that stuff that sort of links up, if you can see this. Virtually nothing stuck to the paintwork. You can't help one or two because it'll just fall off from the ceiling, you know. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm a bit puffed because I don't like wearing the mask too much. And this is just like glass. So, so I hope you enjoyed. I certainly have. Okay. Just thought I'd show you these back panels. That, and you can touch them now, although I wouldn't like to press on them too hard. They're a bit sticky. That one's touching on that one. I just moved them. Down and sticks the paper. But they're, um, they're fully good, man. Fully, fully good. So that's that done. So, by crikey's they look good. And, uh, and so does this. Take a look at this. Sort of like, that's the clear, it tripped off. And, um, so it's kind of like you just sort of glaze it on. If you get it just right, and it's not always easy, you get you don't get runs, but it's sort of like one giant run. And I can't describe it any better than that. Oop. But it's just glassy, smooth, it's very, very, it's very satisfying if you get it just right. Now it's cooler today and it makes all the difference. It was, um, yeah, around 25 degrees. It was even a little bit cooler, but 25 degrees. Wow, is it a good temperature to paint? 24, 25. And um, the other day when I painted under the bonnet here, it was much hotter and it was really hard to do that. In fact, I had to lay the clear on very thick to get it to, to actually gloss up, uh, to actually um, sort of get a shine to it. Otherwise it sort of gets this sort of overspray look. So panel by panel, bit by bit. And um, I've got to do the other side of the bonnet. I've just been letting it go off hard. And then I've got to start on the actual ute itself. I'm looking at it again, but I, I just can't help it. It's just, it is just so shiny. You know, just just so shiny everywhere. It's like beautiful, beautiful. What can I say? I'm very, very happy with it. I'm a bit chuffed. Been up the paint shop and uh, bought myself a new paint suit. Um, apparently, this one is an extra large because I'm a fat ass and. Um, but apparently this one's washable and a little bit more durable. So the other ones, you got to, you're really only supposed to use them once, they say. But I'll use them over and over again. But I do find that um, you want to be able to clean them because they start getting dusty and dirty like any other piece of clothing. So this one might be cool. It's washable. 
Hmm, I got myself a new sanding block too. And um, just for wet sanding. And um, a buffing pad, my other buffing pad died. And that's about it. I've got a buff trusses car for him. When the time comes, he wants it all shiny. And that's it. So I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. Biscuit just got back, you see. So now we've put a mist coat on it, or a guide coat, or a fairy floss coat, or a, a, you know, a piss in the wind coat, or a, um, you know, a dribble coat. The coat you do when you're not. Oh, I think it's actually quite nice, this bonnet. Anyway, I'm going to use black. Use the noise. So what I've got to do now is wash my bucket out. Clean up. I've got a new block, especially for this job. I'll show it to you. I've been using this block wet. And it's, can you see it? Look, it's been very flexy. So I bought this one, it's a lot more stiff. And um, you know, I don't have to worry about it being a bit happy, dappy, dodgy, wodgy, you know. I just want to talk about anti-silica drops or anti-silica drops you can get, and which is this stuff. Um, you just use a drop in your paint pot or whatever so you don't get fish eyes. Fish eyes are a drag and that will help fix it. Um, that's a worst case scenario. The other thing is, is use uh, wax and grease remover liberally and that should also help a lot before you paint and um, stuff. So anti-silica drops, if you have any problems with fish eyes. Not many people seem to know that. This is the back cover to the ute. And uh, obviously you can see I've given it a good clean. It's brand new. It's not 100% flat, but it's as good as they get. And it's pretty hard to make something like that. So I'm just going to give it a coat of epoxy. Giving it a clean with um, wax and grease remover twice now. Once before I hose the floor, and the second time after I wet the floor down because it kicks up dust and and stuff. You never know if you get a drop of water on it or something. So I gave it a nice clean again. Now I hit it with a tack rag after I've covered my head up because a lot of stuff falls off your head. How well can you see everything? Not too bad. No. You'll notice as we go, the floor starts to dry out, and there's not much I can do about that. Simply for the the fact that um, I don't want to put the hose in here after I've started painting. So the paint's mixed and ready to go. I'm covered up, ready to go. I hit it with my tack rag. And um, it doesn't matter how good you are, there's always something left on your car. 
on your around and on your work. Sorry, I'm saying concentrate. Um, I think Boxy, yeah, you know, Boxy, hi Boxy. Um, Boxy asked what I'm using for ventilation, and um, I'll show you in a sec. In fact, I'll show you now. Look, if you look down there, you'll see I've got a little fan which should actually be turned on. So, hang on a minute, I'll turn it on. Now, I'm going to touch stuff with my clean hands. So, let's just uh, I don't want a gale, I just want enough airflow. It's on high, it's just a cheap Kmart type fan. So it just draws, gently draws the dust and muck. Anyway, so that's just what I do and that just keeps everything just a little bit more sort of up to speed. You see all right there? All right, so I'll keep going with my tack rag. And at the end of the day, you can never tack enough. I've been pretty fussy because obviously this is the bonnet and um, you know you do want it to look pretty good. It's just, I'm really, this is really quite intimidating this bit. So anyway, I'm going to give it um, two maybe three coats of, of base and if it doesn't turn out any good on the second coat I'll give it a sand back and then I'll give it another heavy coat of base. It'll be three. So if you get too much crap in the base between now and, and the clear, you can always do something about it. But the clear, it's over. Once you throw the clear on, the job's done and nothing's done to do. All right, so you're ready for a little bit of paint. I try to stand as still as I can so I don't actually kick up dust or carry on like that. But I can see it's going off really quick. It's quite warm in here today. 25, 26 degrees, which is actually not too bad. Maybe I'm just feeling hot because I'm so rugged up. But it's looking good. So I'm going to give it a good five minutes or more and I'm going to give it another coat. I don't count the first coat as a, as a coat, I just count it as like a, a sticky coat, a dusting. A little bit better than that. I think some people actually call it a guide coat. So I'm going to pause and you come back in five minutes. Okay, this is flashing off quite nicely. You can see it's sort of flashing down. I'm going to paint it again now, probably a little early. But you get, the, you get the idea.
uh, I'm going to come back in about half an hour and see how that's flashed off. So that's that's it, and it's now it's flashed off completely, ready for a coat of clear. So um, that's it. I can't really show you any better than that. The camera doesn't bring it up. There is a occasional little bit of crap in the paint sitting there, but it's few and far between. Pretty good for this environment. And I want to get the paint on before the floor dries out too much, the clear on, I mean. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to mix the clear up and stuff. So I'll bring you back when I've done okay, that. Well, I thought some of you guys might like to um, see what clear I'm using and uh, what ratio. So the ratio is, the mix is two to one. And um, you can't see that. That's the clear I'm using. Um, automotive stuff. And uh, so I'll better get on with it because I'm running out of time. So it's been about five minutes, so now I'll see if I can get it to glass up a bit. Okay, I'm going to get out of here because it doesn't help. It's okay, some of it could be better. But on the, I think on the grand scheme of things, once again, I think it's probably okay. Just one more peek before I pack it all up. And um, turned out all right, you know. It looks good from, you know, six inches away. That's not even six inches. There's a little bit of muck in the paint. Uh, not a lot, once again, but I might get a bit upset when I see even one thing. Um, I had a spot here where a bug landed, but I had this... Actually, can you see it? Anyway. And I just got a pair of tweezers and popped the bug out, which was annoying. And uh, so, but fortunately, um, I had two more coats of clear to go at the top of that, so it didn't make a difference. So anyway, so that's it. Chrome strip will look good. And um, I guess I should uh, turn you around. And um, can you see that? Yeah. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoy the progress as much as I am. And I know a lot of you guys are. And uh, so it's, it's um, pretty nice to be getting this color on so much I, I suspect i'm about halfway through the car now so because i painted the guards the door doors um the bonnet now the tailgate and various other little bits and pieces i've got that uh, i don't know if you can see it over there but that um little hatch i'm working on which you'll see more of probably in the next video and uh other than that uh thanks for watching and See you, see you around like a rizzle. Really, no, just catch up.